What if you're going away on holiday and your printer is going to be standing for quite a while without printing? What do you do then? All right, in this video, let's talk about suspending printing on a large format printer. Firstly, you're going to need a few things, right? You're going to need your tissue roll, uh, some pipes, clean pipes. Um, you're going to need a cup, insulation tape, your Epson uh, shipping liquid that prevents the printhead from drying, your normal cleaning solution depending on the ink type you've got, the printhead case, Syringe and a pipe optional. Right. You need to take off the dampers of the printhead. So to avoid leakages, you simply take a piece of tissue, roll it into a ball and a piece of insulation tape about 15 centimeters long. Take the roll, uh, the ball of tissue, you plug it on the damper's mouth to seal it close and then take your insulation tape and pull and tuck in the tissue. Stretch the tape so that it can be able to seal the damper. You do this with all the other dampers to prohibit them from leaking everywhere ink whilst you do the process. Neatly tuck them away. Right, now grab your ink pipes and plug onto each damper's nipple on the hood. Plug in each pipe. All right, next step is your cup with your cleaning solution. Right, so you may need about 50 mils to efficiently empty all the inks on each of the damper's position. There are six positions on an XP600 head. So easily, just dunk the pipes into the cup and let's go over to the maintenance options on the machine. To access your maintenance, you can either go through the menu and scroll down to maintenance or you can just press the right key, it will take you straight to maintenance. Now, you need to scroll down for inking and press enter. So you'll notice the solution starts to get pulled into the head through the pipes, out of the cup, all the way straight to the west bottle. All right. Once all of our cleaning solution is gone through into the head, the next step is to run a wipe nozzle. Now we scroll up for wipe nozzle. Once the wipe nozzle is complete, now we move over to use our Epson shipping liquid. You don't need a lot. 20 ml is good enough. Same procedure as you did with the cleaning solution. Take the pipes, put into the cup. Scroll down for inking as well. And enter. Once the solution is gone through, your Epson shipping liquid has gone through into the head entirely, run just one more wipe nozzle. Fold the pipes to stop the pressure if there's any liquid still left into the pipes, 
now pull out the pipes from one side going next either starting from your left going to your right or from your right going to your left right so the reason of folding the pipes is you notice that the pipes still have a little bit of some liquid inside so when you fold the pipes it allows you to pull out the pipes from the head without whatever remainder of any solution in the pipes dripping on anywhere onto the printer so for those that do not have the pipes you can order a meter of eight lines on buythis.co.za which is our online store for am.co.za or you can alternatively use a brand new syringe with a pipe using the syringe now you now need to take the printed station way over to the left service station continue to press left until the printed finally reaches the left service station right so with your shipping liquid dump the pipe into the bottle and pull generously right from here you can put a small cup that can fit under the print head or you can use paper towels by creating a layer a few times and neatly place under the print head. Right, with our syringe, we plug onto the head and push gently Fold the pipe to stop the flow and pull out. Feed into the next chamber and syringe in. The moment you see some rain under the print head, that's enough shipping liquid gone into the head. And you repeat the process for all of the six positions of the printhead. So you can see our paper towel has cached what is inside the printhead. The shipping liquid left inside the head will be sufficient to keep the printhead fresh and ready to run when you resume and reinstall. Now, here's the final process. We now unmount the printhead from the station. So we're just gonna make another layer of tissue neatly folded against each other with kitchen paper towels it's easier than toilet paper with the screwdriver we now unscrew the printing all right Keeping the printhead level, we take it out and let it sit neatly on the tissue. Right? After that, you just take the same tissue and wipe on the edges to remove any excess inks that are still there. This process needs you to be highly gentle. And there we go, with our printed clean. Now we simply take the box that comes with the print head and place it inside the case. All right, it is done. Now you have safely removed the print head from the machine and all you need to do is Store it in a very nice dry place and go over and enjoy your holiday. You know what? You really deserve 
the holiday without the stress of coming back and finding your machines printed dry or dead. For any questions or queries you might have, feel free to call our technical department and we'll be more than eager to walk you through the process. Thanks for watching this video. Oh, by the way, when you return from holiday, please look out for the next video on how to correctly and safely reinstall your printhead and get back to printing. Twenty twenty three marks the tenth anniversary of AM.co.za in the South African market. And through that time, we have experienced considerable growth and expansion with the support of our valued customers. To mark our tenth anniversary, we have bought a warehouse at Sunny Rock in East Grand, and we will commence with renovation and construction in twenty twenty three. The facility will comprise a massive two thousand square meter warehouse. 300 square meters of demonstration space, 150 square meters of sales space, and 400 square meters of spare part storage on the top floor. 550 square meters of showroom space on the middle floor. 400 square meters for Machine Dot Africa for machine repairs with its own dedicated entrance. And a 250 square meter tea garden and coffee shop for your convenience. Our group now comprises four businesses. AM.co.za is our main business and supplies the machines, spare parts, and consumables. Machine Dot Africa does the installations for our clients and handles on-site and factory repairs. Ambitious Academy ensures that our clients achieve the very best levels of productivity by providing training and certification. And our automated AI-driven online store, Buy This, brings all products online and distributes countrywide. We invite you to be part of this exciting journey as we establish our new headquarters. Watch as the process unfolds and be part of the adventure to meet all of your machinery and productivity needs with this magnificent new facility. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.